What's up guys, it's Jose Zuniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today's video we're going to be talking about something that uh, it's actually quite interesting because well, you probably hear me and almost every other blogger talk about fit. It needs to fit right. It needs to fit right to look good. It's all about fit, 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 fit. So I got to thinking, man, sometimes you're probably in the store or department store thinking, does this actually fit me right? Well today I'm going to make that easier for you guys because today I'm going to show you the top 5 fit tricks that you can do to see if the garment fits you properly. Number one, I call it the sit down test and this one is done for well button down shirts because you see there's an epidemic. I think guys went a little bit too far with the whole slim fit approach and now are wearing uncomfortably tight shirts that make them look like sausages. If this is you, chances are you're gonna need to upsize that schmedium bro. But don't worry, here's a quick test to see if this is you. Grab your button down shirt that's in question, put it on, button it down and sit down. If the buttons start pulling and you can even see skin, that shirt's too small for you, bro. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to size up. Number two is the pant test. You're in the department store, you're wondering if these pants are gonna fit you right from the waist. You don't wanna have to try them on right now. There's two ways for you to test this. Now, keep in mind that if your body's not average size or maybe you're a little bit overweight, your proportions are gonna be different. But for the average guy, there are two ways you can test if those pants are gonna fit. One, you can grab the pants and wrap it around your neck. If the jeans fit nice and snug around your neck, chances are they're gonna fit perfectly. For example, my neck circumference is 15 and a half inches. My pant waist, it's 31. It's almost exact and it works with a lot of people. The second test you can do if you don't want to wrap it around your neck is that you can turn your arm into a fist and pretty straight. If the pants fit from your elbow to the end of your fist, chances are it's also going to fit you. Now, if the pants just don't fit, they're too big, please don't go around sagging your pants. Let me tell you just how many girls you're going to attract doing that. That's right. Zero. Now, if the pants are a little bit bigger, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to pass up on them if you really like them or you can't wear them. If it's about an inch, you could still wear them. You just need a quality belt, something like Anson Belts, which is the one that I always use. Anson Belts is our sponsor, but why they are so perfect, especially for pants that you're trying to wear that might be a little bit oversized, is that they're micro adjustable belts. So unlike your regular belts that have about one inch to inch and a half jumps between holes, when you use those belts on pants that are too big for you, what happens is your pants are going to start crumbling and it's going to cause these awkward creases in your groin area and the pants are just going to look hideous. No matter how nice or how expensive they are, ants and belts don't have holes and instead have a track system in the back. That track system is adjustable by quarter inches so micro adjustable so you can easily put on those pants and micro adjust them to avoid the creases but also make sure that they're held up all day and won't be sagging so in my opinion answer belts are probably one of the best belts these are the belts that i use every single day not only are they aesthetic they're sleek they have no holes they're also just so easy to put on and off it's like you no longer have to worry about holes you just slip the belt on and then slip it off when you're done right now they have an offer where you can buy three straps or two buckles or three buckles and true straps, which basically gives you six different combinations. You buy that kit, you're never gonna need any other belt again because you can just interchange the buckles between straps and like I said, gives you endless combinations. So if you guys want a quality, stylish belt that will help keep your pants up and it's just super cool, you guys need to check out Anson Belts. If you guys wanna check it out, it's gonna be linked down below. The third fit test is what I call the wall test. So let's say you're ready to start dressing sharp and you're also part of the TMF squad so there is no way in hell I'm gonna let you wear an oversized suit. So if you are trying to buy your first suit jacket, you need to know that the most important fit on a suit jacket, it's your shoulders. Everything else can pretty much be tailored to look great on you. So if you wanna know if the suit fits you right from the shoulders, put that suit on, find a flat wall and lean up against it. If the suit shoulders hit the wall first and then crumble, that suit's too big for you, you're gonna need a downsize. On the other hand, if the bulge of your shoulder hits the wall first before the shoulder pad does, the suit shoulders are too small for you, you're gonna need to upsize. What you want is both the shoulder pad and your shoulder to simultaneously hit the wall with no crumbling whatsoever. Once you find that, that's how a suit should fit through the shoulder. Number four is a fit test around your neck. You want that shirt to be nice and snug around your neck without it choking you through the day, of course. So what you wanna do, it's called the finger test. It's easy, you button up the shirt all the way, you grab your index finger, and you should comfortably be able to slide it in. It shouldn't be tight, there shouldn't be any pulling. If you can't slide a finger in, 
it's too tight for you. If you can slide a whole fist in, it's too big for you. And finally, number five, how to know if jeans fit you properly. Pop a squat, that's it. You can do it in the fitting room. You're trying on the jeans, literally just pop a squat. You need to make sure that the jeans aren't cutting your circulation or your range of motion. So you should be able to do a squat in your jeans. This is gonna make sure that you both feel comfortable throughout the day wearing them, but also look good. So if you can pop a deep squat in your jeans and they're not oversized, those jeans are good for you. You can pick them up. However, if you can barely squat without the jeans feeling like they're about to tear or the pants start sliding down below your waist, chances are they're too tight and the rise is too short. You're gonna need a size up. And that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are the top five fit tricks that you can do to make sure clothing fits you properly. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.